This demo will show you how to run a data-driven schedule. The data-driven schedule will run a single Power BI report for all the suppliers in my database where the country is USA. The report will be outputted to a folder on my laptop and each of the suppliers will have their own folder created at the point of the report execution. To begin, I'm going to select Data Driven for Power BI. And the first thing that I have to do is connect to my database, which holds my supplier information. I'm going to select the DSN that I'm going to use to do that. And click Connect. The table that holds required information is suppliers. And I'm only going to run it for the suppliers where their country is equal to the USA. And I'll pass those results. And here we have four suppliers. Click OK and OK to save the DSN. The key column for me is going to be supplier ID and that's because that is unique for each suppliers in my database. Click Next. I'm going to select the Power BI account that I want to use. And the report that I'm going to run is supplier analysis. The schedule name is default the report name and I'm just going to make a little change for my reference and click next to continue. This is a scheduling tab and I'm going to run this report every day. So daily is selected every one day and I'm going to change this to be 7 p.m. For more information on the scheduling options available, please view the scheduling demo. I'm going to click Next to save. This is the Report Settings tab, and if you want to make any changes to the report settings, the page height or the page width, for example, you would simply click and make a change. I'm going to accept the default, so I'm not going to make any changes, so I'll click Next to save that information. This is the Report Filters tab. When you do a single schedule, normally you may have a static filter, maybe one or two filters. This is a data-driven schedule, so I'm going to use a data driver for my filters. And what that means is I'm going to create a filter so that it's going to run through my database for all the suppliers that meet my criteria that I set a few moments ago. To do that, I'm going to click Add. And the table that I'm going to use is suppliers. And the column is going to be company name. And the data type is string, so I'll accept that. And instead of writing in a static value, I'm going to come over here and use my inserts. And I'm going to drag and drop the company name. And then click add. So instead of having one company or two companies, this is going to run this report for all the company names in my database that match the criteria. I'm going to click Next to save that information. This is the refresh data sets. If you want to refresh the data set before the report runs, you would do that here. Here we have the Destinations tab. I'm going to set up a disk destination. So I'm going to click Add, Disk, and this is the folder. And I want to make a slight change to this folder path. So I'm going to highlight it, use the up arrow so that I can edit it. And I actually want to create a folder for each of the companies in my database, so when the report is run, each company will have a folder with the company name. And then use the down arrow to save that path. 
The format that I'm going to use is PDF, and I'll click OK to save it. I'll then click Next. This is the exception handling. For more information on exception handling, please view the exception handling demo. Custom actions. For more information on custom actions, please view the custom actions demo. I'm going to click finish to save my schedule. This will take a few moments. To show you the result of a data driven schedule, I'm going to simply right click and manually execute this schedule. And then we can have a look at the reports. This will take a few moments. The schedule is now completed, so I will go and show you the resulting reports. And here we have a folder for each of the American companies. Company ID. And here is the resulting PDF. Christian Stephen Software. Bigger data, better business.